Well, I think that's uh, the job that you are doing. So I think it's great that you uh, came from Maastricht in the Netherlands uh, to, to Panama to, to teach about this, this subject, about how, how can you effectively communicate scientific data, scientific results. Uh, and it's something that I am very glad to be uh, a little part of this afternoon, uh, to share our experiences from the diplomatic community with using social media as a diplomatic tool. I think there are many parallels uh, between us. So for me, it was very interesting to be here this afternoon. I think social media can be very useful also for scientists, um, uh, also very challenging. Uh, because I used to work in a very legal uh, environment before I became a diplomat, uh, and I had the role of communications director, so I had to communicate all these very complicated legal decisions to the general public. Um, and I had many, many discussions internally in this uh, competition authority. Um, about uh, how can you, you know, um, summarize something that is so complex and so huge in, in sound bites, in, in short press releases, etc. It's sometimes a struggle, uh, but I think it's a struggle that should be, uh, that should be fought in, in scientific organizations. Because uh, now more than ever we need scientists uh, to give their sound bites and their press releases uh, to, as a counterweight to you know, people that, that spread fake news and, and, and tell lies. I think it's more important than ever that scientists also are active on social media.